Hey guys, what's going on? So today's video is going to be a little different. I wanted to try to follow a watercolor tutorial. So the reason why I wanted to film this video is because I have this watercolor set that was given to me a while ago as a gift and I've never really used it because I'm not one to watercolor. Like I've never tried to watercolor before. So I really wanted to try and see if I can make something maybe for my room or for my apartment. So I found this video. It actually popped up on my recommended on YouTube and it was creations by CC and it was a flower watercolor painting tutorial. To me I feel like painting a flower would be easier than to paint like a landscape or something like that. I could very well be wrong but we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna get everything set up and then we'll start. Okay, so I'm gonna get my brush a little wet and I'll play the video that I'm gonna be following. Okay, so in the video she mentions that she has watercolor paper. I have watercolor paper, but since I don't know how this is gonna go, I've decided to use the sketch pad paper that came with it so I don't know how big of a difference this is going to be and if mine will come out not quite right because of the paper I don't know <laughs> but we'll see we'll try it so first she makes three dots I don't know I feel like it needs more paint and then she dabbed into her clean water and she takes wow <sighs> wow <laughs> great okay so we're going to ignore that she takes it and she like says that she swishes it around And I can remove the harsh edges by like dabbing it around here. Um, this may not be working because of the paper that I'm using, or because it's kind of dry already, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so she takes a few more paint drops. As well, I know that's not in the tutorial, but it's looking a lot lighter than I want it to be. Okay, that's not that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so then she mixes like a darker color in the middle. I'm gonna add a dark blue color first. I know she adds the brown. I'm thinking I'm gonna add the brown after the dark blue because I want it to create this like fading effect. She says if you add it in the middle, it'll kind of seep in. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, it's looking a little more like connected than hers is. I'm gonna pull this a little bit this way. If there's, there's an indentation there, it's making me go. I think I'm gonna try adding some brown. Okay, I feel like it's not dry enough. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. So I waited a little bit. I also have like blue on it, so hopefully it'll be fine by then. It actually like looks like a flower. Okay, so then she adds a couple more flowers to it. So I'm gonna do that as well, except I'm gonna make a bit more purple and then like maybe more of a greenish flower over here. So we'll try that out. I'm gonna put the flower up here. We're gonna do the three dots again. And we're gonna go ahead and do that wiggling thing again. So I'm thinking I probably had a little too much water compared to actual color. So I'm probably gonna add more color to that after. This 
why I did not start with the actual watercolor paper first. Okay, so then in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and place more of like a red. This is some purple. Okay, not bad. Not, not great, but not bad. <laughs> Again, I think I'm gonna let this one dry for a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and add the brownish yellowish color in the middle. Okay, I've waited like 30 seconds, only because I don't think it's supposed to, like, you know, dry completely. So, add dots now. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my last flower. I think I'm gonna add the blue with the green, maybe a little purple, or maybe I'll put the purple on the inside. So let's see. I'm gonna grab a little bit more water. a bit more green in the center instead. I was gonna add the purple, but looking at it, I think the green would be better. I'm pretty sure also that she did not contaminate her clear water. Clearly, I have not done that, so <laughs> if this goes wrong. So now I'm gonna add the brown speckles again. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the stem. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some green to this brownish color. I think I like that color. It might be a little too dark, we'll see. But I'm going to kind of make the stem almost the same way that she made it in her video. Um, <laughs> it's a little uh, wiggly right there, but Let's see if we can insert it out without making it too much thicker. Okay, well that was a mistake. Got a lot thicker. Maybe we can try that water trick she had for the flowers. Okay, so I think that trick only works if you have actual water paper, not sketch paper. <laughs> Next, we're going to add this stem. Still a little thick, but not bad. And then she does that little flower. Okay, okay. I kind of like it, okay. Okay, so she likes to put like a little stem thing on there. And she adds tiny little leaves. Okay, so I'm done. She adds like these white little dots in the center of her flowers. I, I'm not gonna add that. I don't feel like they would fit that well with my flowers. So we're gonna skip to like the end of her video where she added little bits of gold. I don't have gold watercolor or creamer pigment. So I'm going to add mainly like bluish greenish dots. This is the finished product. I feel like she definitely made the dots a lot smaller than I did, and the flowers definitely came out a lot better for her video. Definitely go check her out. I will have the link to her video in the description down below, but yeah, this is the finished product. I think if you want to create a simple, easy watercolor painting, definitely go check out Creation CC. I think this definitely could have turned out a little bit better had I used actual watercolor paper. That way I wouldn't have like, this big blob of paint right there. But all in all, I think I think it actually is pretty good. I definitely would check out more of her videos. She does amazing artwork. So yeah guys, let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you're interested in trying this. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe down below for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Why is it blurry? I hit the camera. Focus.
have a look. I think this might be just me like hyping up my own painting. <laughs> 